Hi Taurus, welcome to your special retrograde forecast for singles. Now please take note that this is a general reading, it doesn't really apply to all, okay? And I will still be recording special forecast for couples and money and career all together. Alright, let's take a look what's going to be in store for you this retrograde single Taurus. How will you find love? And I will also be reading your careers and finances using the pyramid spread. Alright. Oh. Mm-mm-mm. And this is the bottom line of your card. Hmm. You are trying to move on from one phase to another because you have been so disappointed by your fire sign. Even though you've been stuck for for quite a while, like for example, like four months or four years, trying to get over this person who have taken away your dreams and your hopes and trust love and everything and now you're starting all over again and you're ready to begin you're now ready to spread your wings and fly and you know you're just you're just ready to love again it's been a while whether it's been like years or months already and i feel like you are starting to think that if you're ready for a real relationship, you've been dating before, but you haven't really taken anybody seriously because of your fears and because of your phobia in a relationship and loving again. And now somebody is finally coming into your path and somebody is finally coming into your life, which is that this will be introduced to you by a friend in a gathering, party, or event that you will be attending within the next three days, three weeks, or three months. Unfortunately, this person lives in another place, so it's going to be like um, a long distance, which is you do have trust issues and you're going to have a lot of hard time thinking whether you could survive this kind of situation or you could survive this kind of relationship knowing that the two of you are apart, you know? In a way, um, you won't actually have any hard time, you know... Um, wrestling with the uh, possessiveness of the people who's going to be around you or the, with the person that you, that you will be around because I feel like this person is very um, traditional and conventional. So if you're a woman, so and uh, you know that this guy will say that I'm the guy, you should listen to me and stuff like that. So there will be some like... Uh, it's like there will be some rules that you have to obey. And I feel like you, you hate being suffocated. And you hate following the rules. Okay? Knowing how stubborn you are. Now. I feel like in this case. You will try to move away. And you will try to. You know. Find your way out from this person. But I feel like you do have some past life connection as well. With this person. You will try it, it, it. This kind of relationship or this kind of dating or connection is like on and off, on and off. The more you pull away, the more the two of you would get closer. The more you deny the existence of this person in your life, the more this person would get closer to you, and the more you will fall so hard for this person. It's like at first you're not gonna, you know, address this person's meaning or purpose you know coming into your life and you feel like ah, i've already dated a lot of people in my life so what you know i can replace you with another person but then i feel like there is a significant um reason why this person is going to be into your life because right now you're ready and you can just perfectly admit it to yourself that you're not ready to begin another relationship or you are ready to love again you know, you're ready to open up and the right person is finally here. The only thing here is you know, you should know how to communicate and you should know how to work your way in a relationship with someone instead of just keeping quiet and then, you know, packing your things and walk away. No, 
even if you try to walk away from one relationship to another, meet another person, same old thing and same old stuff that will happen. So what's going to happen is that you're just creating a trail or you're just creating a pattern, okay? Same situation, different people. So it's like you're stuck in the middle or you're stuck in one same spot. So you should, if that happens to you, you should actually learn how to um, get out of that situation by learning your lessons and not fighting it. Yep. Your single life is about to be over. And I feel like you can kiss your single life goodbye. You've been alone for quite a while and you've been used to it. And this is actually the problem that I'm also seeing on the other hand. Because you've been independent most of the time and most of your life. You know, I mean, I'm not, I mean, this doesn't really apply to all Toreans out there. But most of the Toreans are very independent. They're very smart and clever. But they, uh, they have a lot of relationship phobias or relationship, or uh, sorry, commitment issues. Okay? It's so hard to tie them down. But once they commit and once they let themselves be tied down, that's going to be for real. Okay? Now, with this person, it's not going to be an easy relationship. It's not going to be a smooth sailing kind of a situation. You need to fight your way through, you work your way through, and learn how to communicate. Learn how to be patient, act like an, act like an adult and not your shoe size. And you need to learn how to be a little bit more understanding. Learn how to listen as well. It's not just only you who's always right. Okay? And this relationship will definitely work out. At least for the next two years. Okay? I'm not saying that the relationship will only last for two years. I'm, what I'm trying to say is for the next two years, that is how you're going to grow. How you're going to work your way out with all of your fears and phobias and, you know, what happened in the past. The, per the person who had hurted you, you know, the pattern and everything else. You need to work your way out of your fears and work your way out of your issues. And I feel like this is where you will be having a child. If you are still able to have a child, okay? And you will learn how to love unconditionally, deeply, and commit to this person. Because this person will show a very, what do you call this? Uncondi uh, unconditional love and patience. Even though this person is very possessive and you need to, you know... um walk in numbers or move around numbers okay and you don't really have to be scared that it might not work out or you it might not you know that you might not just stay in this relationship i can see you packing your things here and there and then going back and forth making up breaking up making up breaking up but it's still the two of you okay so single Toreans, this is a very good news for you that you'll finally be meeting the love of your life okay within this month of september not this month within the month of september and this will be introduced to you by a friend that you will be attending either this is the one who's uh, who's the host of the party or this is the one that will just be tagging you along or inviting you along all right let's take a look at your careers and finances all right Koreans actually find it hard to commit, but once they found the right one for them, they are the one who surrenders their well themselves to that person and they commit with all their heart. Let's take a look at your careers and finances. Mm -mm -mm. You're also looking for some changes when it comes to your job.
Actually, we should put this in the middle because I have to pull out your... I have to pull out your life purpose. There. It's like you were given a promise. Sorry, let's shuffle that again. It's like you're given a promise by your company or by your boss in a place where you're working right now, but it's like you're working and working and working and you don't find any fulfillment there. And you're looking for some change. You're looking for some progress, movement, development. And, you, and yet you cannot see it happening anytime soon. So you're already starting to think, is this really the right job for me? Or is it really time for me to start looking around? Right. Speaker, spiritual teacher, career change. Well, this is the answer to some of the Toreans who's been asking if you're this, if the job that you have right now is the right one for you. It's time to decide, and there is an infinite abundance that's been waiting out for you. Now you have the gift of oration, counseling, speaking. You know, advising, customer service as well. So in, either in the field of media or communications, this is where you can start looking around, you know, more of uh, what can fulfill you because you love being heard and you love the attention or having the attention of other people and you like it when you're giving advices or when you can help other people as well. Now, you need somebody who will be leading you or who will be advising you or, you know, like telling you, okay, this is the right path for you. No, don't go there. This, no, you're going to track a wrong place or wrong path. Otherwise, you're going to have to make a, um, like a U-turn if you go to that path, you know. You're looking for somebody who will be guiding you. And it's time for a career change in which field you're in right now. It's time for you to start looking around. It's time for you to look for the signs and symbols that your angels will be sending your way, either through the, uh, you know, either through the mode of picture when you're awake or when you're when you're sleeping. Sometimes they could send signals or, you know, some signs to you when you're dreaming or when you're sleeping. And you're well protected. You don't really have to worry about making a mistake because even if you're still looking for some sort of a teacher or guidance or advisor, okay? Your guardian angels are always looking out for you. And I feel like there's somebody in your family who had passed away, which is an older male. Um, I don't feel like this is your... Um, this is the father of your father. But this is more likely a um, a distant relative already. But more from your father's so side who's been guiding you and he's still looking after you. And it's also time to decide. Okay? So don't procrastinate. And if there is... You know, the thing here is... When things get better in your job right now, you feel like, oh, I can stay here. It pays my bills and, uh, you know, what's important is I have a job. And then when things go wrong and when you get impatient or when you get pissed off with your boss, you will always start looking for classified ads or you're going to start. This is where you're, you're also going to start looking around or for, for some vacancies or opportunities and stuff like that. So right now, especially in the month of October, this is where you should start looking around and finding a new opportunity, which is you are going to be starting a new profession, new job, or new career right before the year ends. All right. And there is an infinite abundance. It's not just all about material wealth, but also fulfillment, happiness, and life meaning. All right. And as I've said... You feel so stuck in your situation right now or in your job, okay? If you're expecting a promotion, I don't feel like it's coming. You have to make the change for yourself and you have to will the changes that you want to see and happen in your life, all right? 
try to start considering the month of October for a career change or you may start looking for some short course or quick lessons or stuff like that or trainings you know if there is one particular thing that you want to learn about especially the field of communications okay start looking into this all right so anyway that's it for you for this time Taurus and if you want to talk to me live on the phone you may Visit me at my website, sofiaangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone or live video calls or offer pre-recorded video readings. All right. Blessings to you and have a great month.